ran across a few things that were... Oh, one more thing that came from Grandma Galloway. This came from their house. Oh, that's so pretty. Uh, and that was one of the things she had on the shelves, corner shelves, in the dining room at the lake. That is really nice. Do you have any idea what kind of... I have no idea other than it came from Grandma's. It's, uh -huh. um, it's got a nice scallop edge. and Remember, didn't she have a, a soup tureen that was... She kind of liked dishes that were shaped like mm -hmm. things. She had a soup tureen or a cabbage that... Something that was looked like a cabbage. Yeah. Uh, and Chris has that. Yeah, she really likes that. Mm -hmm. She really likes that. Oh, and on the bottom it looks kind of like a little basket with more leaves. Okay. Yeah, I... I like that too. I know that they're harder to clean, but I think that's really nice. You know, dishes that look like asparagus and mm -hmm. cabbage leaves and stuff. Then we ran across some things that were wedding presents. First of all, let's do this. These are the, there's oh, a yeah. pair of these that go with the Venetian glass. Yeah, these oh. are really beautiful. Perfect. See, see, this is what they go with. <laughs> All those gold tints on the Venetian glass. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. Uh, then we ran across a few things that were wedding gifts of, for Dad and me. This was a plate that was a popular item, and you put no, um, the the focus right now is kind of from here on up. Okay. So I think if we go more like this, okay. yeah, um, you could use this to serve at a, a tea or for dessert. You put a, a lot of people put a fancy doily on, maybe mm -hmm. a white lacy doily, mm -hmm. and then put your cookies or your hors d'oeuvres on top. Lots of silver plate. Silver plate was popular as a wedding gift when Dad and I were married. This was a little sterling relish dish that I, my sister Betty gave me hmm. for a wedding gift. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, Gorham. It's got royal seals on it. Gorham sterling and Gorham... Uh, is the company that makes the sterling flatware that hmm. I have. This was a sugar and creamer that were a wedding gift. They're kind of nice lines, plain and simple. Mm -hmm. And, and this, this also gorum. is gorum, made by Gorham. This is a half pint. I suppose this is too. Okay. Uh, this is a sterling gravy boat with a tray. And I received it as a wedding gift, and that goes, the pattern is the same as the vegetable dish that we saw earlier. Oh, this. right, this one down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, this is Wallace Sterling. Oh, okay. Well, well the Wallace Company makes nice sterling, too. They sure do. Uh, these are a couple of more wedding gifts. This was international, made by International Sterling Company. These were called Paul Revere Bowls. And they were used for, we use them for nuts or candy, or this one has uh, a monogram on, PWG, mm -hmm. needs a little polish. <laughs> See, here's the before and here's the after. <laughs> this has got some real intricate scroll work on the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's that damask rose pattern again. Oh, uh-huh. That we saw on something earlier. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what that was. Oh, we've been seeing so much, it's hard to... This is a little, another little dish that could be used for jam or sauce or salad dressing. Or oh, and that's quite elaborate. Mm -hmm. And that was a wedding gift. All along the edges. And this one is, who is it? Wilcox. Wilcox. Different company. Gosh. Yep. Silver soldered. Ooh, patent pending. Well, they've got fat <laughs> right now. <laughs> you would hope so. 45, 48 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> uh, this is a, a vegetable dish, or it could be used for flowers, I guess, too. It came from an old lady friend of my mother's. Hmm. Um, Mrs. Breeze was her name, and she was probably Good about 75 years old, and just a kind of a little, very small little person. Mm -hmm. uh, and she was a widow by the time I knew her dear friend of my mother's. This is, these are, um, this is a salt and pepper, or salt and pepper, creamer and sugar, oh, mother, <laughs> creamer and sugar. This is the salt, this is the pepper. <laughs> um, that came from Grandma and Grandpa Wheeler. 
And I think they went with the tray that we looked at earlier. Mm, okay. Uh, years ago when people smoked, you had a fancy cigarette lighter that you put on your table and <laughs> put a little fluid in the bottom, a little cigarette lighter mm, fluid. Just kind of flick it. And then you flick it and that could light your cigarette. Huh. And that was back when Dad still smoked. That was back when Dad still smoked. And actually, I think that came from Grandma Wheeler. I don't think we ever owned one. I think that was hers. Did Grandma and Grandpa smoke? Oh, sure, Grandpa smoked. Grandpa did for a long time, but Grandma didn't. This is one of a set of candle holders that came from Grandma Wheeler. It's just of china, but it was one that she used. This is another little wedding gift. It was called a wedding ring. Gift, mm. and it was could be used for nuts or candy. Looks like it's been well used. Mm. Yes, it does look a little tough, doesn't it? Chris has a ring that has a similar pattern. I mean, it's kind of a heavy... Mm -hmm. um, do you remember that on her finger? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this reminds me of that a lot. Uh, yeah. This little jam jar came from Dad's family, and Becky and I have been trying to figure out it says December 25th, 1891, so it was a Christmas gift to somebody. And I'll have to ask Jean. It looks like C. Galloway, which could be Carrie Galloway. That would be Dad's grandmother. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing E.P.'s grandpa, or E.P.'s e. mother. Um, and if it says T, if that's a T in the middle, that could be hers, and it could have been a Christmas gift to her, but... That's speculation. We don't know. <laughs> and this was something that was uh, we found after Grandpa died. Hmm. Um, then two. I uh, will leave those for another time. That's the golf stuff. Oh right, right. Want that. <laughs> okay. So um, here were some of the steak knives you said were. Okay, the steak knives came from Grandma and Grandpa Wheeler. Uh, two different kinds. Those are those, um, I've been reading about this bake, these bake light things. Mm -hmm. I think they were popular in like the 40s when they started to do different stuff with plastic and people really liked them. This is kind of a, oh, I don't know, what would you call that? Kind of a marble? Mm -hmm. It's almost like onyx. Yeah, yeah. They're they're really popular now. Mm -hmm. Are they? Mm -hmm. Collector items. Oh, boy. Hang on to them. <laughs> we are. Uh, this is the pattern of silverware that Dad and I had when we were first married. It was called our everyday silverware. Everyday silverware. Um, it's just it's some silver plate. And we, I have a few pieces left, a few tablespoons and uh, some forks and mm -hmm. some butter knives, but the spoons are pretty much lost. It's from Gorham. Uh, this is one of Grandma Wheeler's tablespoons, and I don't know how I happen to have it, because Betty has the rest of her silverware. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> must have stolen it from her. <laughs> That was Grandma Wheeler's every day. This so is huge. Well. I can hardly imagine fitting that bowl. Well, that was a tablespoon to use. It was a soup in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Huh. It's very nice. Okay. And here were some serving pieces. Uh, well, this, these serving pieces came from Grandma and Grandpa Wheeler. Boy, they're really ornate. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's like lots of flowers and. This isn't the damask rose again, is it? No, I don't know what pattern this is. That they it just, says it just it says serving. stainless on the fork here. Yeah, it says the Steef Company, stainless steel. And that you would use for carving meat, but your dad would tell you the knives are no good for carving meat. <laughs> They're strictly for looks. <laughs> They're not sharp enough. Oh, Miss Manners had this solution to a couple who wanted to show that they had the really good knife and fork but knew that they couldn't cut meat worth, <laughs> worth anything and so the wife would bring out the knife and fork and the husband would take and he'd make to use and he'd put it gently on the meat and then he'd look up at his wife inquiringly and she would nod gravely and he'd put those aside and she'd fetch in the electric knife and then he'd carve with those it was like so they were supposed to give this this impression that they were this well-honed team that could uh, choose the correct implement for any occasion and uh, she, Ms. Manners didn't know how to get around the implication that the bird was too tough for, <laughs> for, for the or silver. Or that the knife wasn't sharp enough to cut <laughs> right. anything. Maybe butter. But, right. but that was a little scenario that she worked out for these people who wanted to show that they did have the, the 
the stuff. stuff. Yeah. Um, these are pretty much spoons that came from Ana Kent. This was a cousin of Grandpa's who died out in Kansas. Um, well, this is Jenny. Oh, okay. There are a couple of them in here. These are maybe odd ones that came, too, from Grandma. Hmm. These have a K for Kent. Okay, is that what this is? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's okay. So the Kent ones have these little kind of buttons all the way down, and then there just are one or two. Okay. No. Yeah. So you know this is different too. Okay. And that one came from Grandma Wheeler. Oh. Okay. So this is this pattern has a bow on it, um, a ribbon and bow down at the the base of it, and that was from Grandma Wheeler. And then these ones that have the K on it, those are from Anna Kent. Mm -hmm. And that was a cousin of Grandpa's who lived in Kansas. And who do you think this Jenny is? Um, I think that Jenny probably was um, Grandpa's sister, Jenny. He had a sister who was just a couple of years younger who died when she was in her late teens. I think from tuberculosis. Mm. And actually, we should probably give that to Jenny Galloway. Because I think Jenny Galloway is named after her. Oh. I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to do it right this second, huh? Okay. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> do you want to get in here? No. Dad has a high degree of interest in this. <laughs> yes. Well, he's our technical expert. Without him, none of this would be possible. Uh, these are forks that came from Anna Kent. Mm -hmm. and they Was that ALK? December 25th, 92. Not two years ago, mind you. Okay, Is that so what you're seeing? Yes, this must have been a gift to her. Uh, Dad, mm -hmm. Anna Kent was your dad's cousin? <coughs> yes. Who lived in Kansas? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us any more? Uh, <coughs> no, when. Uh, when Ana died, uh, all of her things were sent from Blood, Kansas to Fond du Lac. And that's when we got this beautiful rocker. Mm -hmm. I remember that. And we have some silver right here that has her initials on it. Uh -huh. So she must not have had any relatives. Any I remember your mother and dad going out mm -hmm. and deciding what would be sent. Mm -hmm. But I don't, re I don't remember anything more about her. She must have been married because... Uh, um, yes. Um. We'll ask Jean. Sister Jean, maybe she would know. Mm -hmm. Or maybe Mary. And I'll take a look in my, in my book and we have something to it. Okay. So it looks like she got the silverware separately because the spoons are all engraved with 1896 on them and then the forks all have December 25th. 1892 on them, ah, mm -hmm. so, and they're different patterns. Yeah, so they must have been a gift. Hmm. Interesting that you would just buy spoons, or you would just buy forks, mm -hmm. instead of a whole set. Well, it may have been that you know she just needed spoons. Mm -hmm. Maybe she had enough of the other things, and spoons were they might have gotten lost. Or yeah. yeah. Now what do we got here? And I think those are just odds and ends of mm. um, silver that Dad and I had when we were first married and some things from Grandma Wheeler. There are butter knives from the set that we had when we were first married. Mm -hmm. A lot of those. And I think, uh, yeah, that was a jam spoon. And I think this was just from Grandma Wheeler. I think I remember this jam spoon. Do you? Yeah, because oh. I remember that kind of weird edge to it. Okay. It didn't look quite like this, but that was years ago. These need a little tender <laughs> loving care that they haven't had.